but she loves me that's the most common thing that people will say when something goes pear-shaped she told me she loves me um, they put too much trust in somebody they haven't met before they they meet this girl online very beautiful somebody has given them a bit of um, the old flattery but they are you're so handsome all this sort of stuff and then later on things start to go sour it's grooming <laughs> you know if you were doing it to a small child um, it's what pedophiles do but these are do it, these girls are doing it to a lot of guys because a lot of the guys I'll be honest with you the West just doesn't know where he wants to go a lot of the time when it comes to relationships and stuff he wants equality but not equality he wants women to have equal rights on everything but they want to also maintain that the fact that they have the children, the house, the car <laughs> some of this, none of that, none of this so the West is a bit of a confusing thing a lot of guys um, it's sort of displaced so w when you get a beautiful woman that's taking a lot of interest in you uh, she'll talk to you about stuff that people normally tell you to shut up about you know for example Oh, I went fishing this weekend. It was, <laughs> and they go, oh, where did you go? Da, da, da. They're taking an interest. Now, I'm not saying all women are like this, but it's it's a hook. Because um, what happens is you build this rapport, relationship, etc., online, and then it transcends to the Philippines. And that transcending to the Philippines is normally where you start to see where the gaps start to to open between the real women and the fake women but a lot of it you will actually even see before you get that far when people start asking you for money they'll go oh uh, my mother's sick da, 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 and you've only been talking for an hour have a think who, who else do you know that well you don't know will walk up and say my mother's sick can you give us some money as soon as you get somebody like that there's a there's a little uh, tip I recommend it's called delete and block um, just get rid of them because I'll tell you now they will talk around the whole subject and how they're not asking for money they don't really want this da, da, da. but the whole point is they've engaged you in that conversation on purpose but the fact is when you go well why do I have to pay it they will manipulate it around trying to get it well I'm not really saying do this da, da. but then tomorrow they'll be going Oh, um, I haven't got enough bus fare for uh, getting to work or whatever. They'll just try and squeeze money on it. It just ain't worth it. Just ditch them. But when you get to the Philippines, you'll start to see these differences. Um, the first one I would say is the money. Because a good woman will not expect you to spend money on them. Um, they're they're not relying on you or shouldn't be because it shows no shame what they should be doing is like when you take them out you take her out for dinner or whatever she'll have dinner or whatever but she's not expecting you to go out and buy her jewelry and things like that uh, in fact when you try to do it they may actually turn around and say well no we you know we hardly know each other etc and try and retract you a bit from overexpending um, these things are the things to look for the bad women will go I would love a new handbag I would love this oh we've got a leaky roof at the house etc etc because they will actually go expansive they want to grab as much money while you're there and they'll tell you how much they love you and all this sort of stuff everything you want to hear um, where you'll find that most of the good women the ones I know this is from personal um, association will be very conservative they won't say that they love you or anything they don't know you it will take time to get to that level um, because they're not a teenager but also they're well aware of all the scammers and everything online so they don't want to be associated with it so they will actually work very hard to be the complete opposite um, my father-in-law brought something up before when I because 
I take people out to the mall, you know, me and the wife will go to the mall, but, you know, we'll take mother-in-law, etc., you know, we'll have a family meal. Um, but my father-in-law, when we first met, wouldn't go to the mall with us because he said he didn't want to be the hangers-on because he's seen himself that you'd have the foreigner, big grin on his face with the uh, nice, beautiful woman that he's in love with, etc. And then uh, behind them, there's an entourage of about 12 people with all the shopping bags and everything, thinking life can't get much better than this. There are a lot of Filipinos aware with it, and they find it as vulgar as we do. Um, or I do, because it shows that people are extorting. Um, now, I'm not saying there's, there's anything wrong with taking everybody out for dinner. I do it now and again. But it's when it's an expectation, or when it's put on you in a manipulative way and now the only way you tell the difference is over time but I would say that just be looking for the small things is your partner when you get there texting all the time and she's like I'm just texting my mother just texting because there's a good chance there's a boyfriend in the background or even a husband when you leave leave some money and then see if it's still there when you get back because there's no reason for them to touch it but you just say oh I've got some you know I don't know 7,000 pesos um, can you just hold on to it because uh, you're not supposed to take money out of the country etc and then see if it's still there but it's not if they go with 7,000 what are they going to go with next time um, how do people look at you you know are you just the uh, the foreigner or is there more than that are they happy to introduce you to everybody or are you just stuck in a little bubble because if you're in a little bubble it might be because there's other stuff going on uh, like your beautiful girlfriend's husband and kids are in the same neighborhood and the mother and father-in-law or soon to be uh, allegedly um, don't want to make themselves look stupid in their own community <laughs> Um, also to be seen as being as bad as their daughter so there's these lots lots of little things and I, I'll tell you now a lot of it you'll pick up they just sit in the back of your mind you'll be like uh, why are the neighbors kids always in the house now you may find that quite funny but I know a woman that did this uh, to five different foreigners she was marrying all of them she got them to move a house which she didn't actually move a house um, she got them to buy the furniture five times and the kids were all hers but she would say all oh, the neighbors kids would let them come around blah 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 lying through her teeth but because she's put on this such a facade she doesn't even care less because a lot of it from our western perspective a lot of the time we feel something about it you know we would feel guilty or something a lot of these people don't they couldn't care less they'll make the crocodile tears later etc but the, uh, the the fact is a lot of it is not first generation it could even be third or fourth now they're pushed into it you know they've got aunts uncles fathers mothers whatever that are homing them in to rope a foreigner in or many foreigners in um, I think the most I've seen for a Western Union collection was somebody with, I think it was eight different, different Western Union collections from boyfriends. Um, now the only boyfriend she had was the one that was with her. The rest of them were just robbed of their money. Um, that's why I say you just need to have a deep hard think on this stuff. And like I said, when she, when the woman goes, oh, but she loves you, and uh, and you go, go to myself or somebody else, like, but she told me she loved me. Be aware, does she really? Do you know enough about her? What's that founded on? You've only met each other for a short period of time, etc. Love doesn't happen overnight. Now there's an instant attraction. I agree with that, and there's a instant connection, because me and my wife hit it off straight away but the fact is to love somebody takes time 
because you need to understand that person and if it's often manipulated with something else like for example oh I love you can we have a new car or a new handbag or something or you bought a new handbag and they're all over you etc then I think you've got problems um, strongly advised just sit there and have a think and if you're not sure yourself just write some things the pros and cons on a bit of paper uh, and things that are sitting in your back of your mind or the positive aspects because maybe it's just the way she is but I find that's very rare <laughs> alright thanks for watching